Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna share with you a product I love so much. I had it in my October favorites, so I'm doing this a little bit backwards because I'm sharing it with you in depth after I shared it with you <laughs> briefly in my favorites, but oh well. Um, I truly think this is like a miracle three-in-one product. It does, it's basically for me, it's a primer that I love, but it's also a moisturizer and it can be used as a mask. What it is, is the J1 Jelly Pack. That's the name, Jelly Pack. And the brand is J1. It is made in Korea. I believe it is actually made by a Korean celebrity. I don't know, I think she's a model or actress or both. The reason I got it is because Sephora is describing it as a makeup gripper. So I'm like, you know, that is exactly what I want in my primer. I, primers that just make the skin slippery, you know, that sort of um, just silicone feel, I kind of don't like. Um, I want, I, you know, I want to hide my pores and I want to fill in any fine lines. I want my makeup to last without breaking down. I don't want any kind of oiliness to come through. You know, I have normal to dry skin with definite areas of dryness and sensitivity and all that stuff. So I'm like, I'm gonna try it. And of course I get really nervous because anything that is like a skincare product that can um, usually has ingredients that is like a trigger for my rosacea and this is not so this doesn't have anything in it that has upset my skin um, in fact i think it has improved my skin so that's also the point of it um, the creator of this basically wanted a moisturizer that she could just wash her face put on her make her moisturizer and then put her makeup right on top of it like she you don't need all those steps i mean you can do a serum or anything else you want but if you just want like a moisturizer and then you can even put your sunscreen on top of this. Um, I've, I put my sunscreen on before it sometimes just because sunscreen is my last step. So I'll just put sunscreen on and then it might be a few hours before I even think of putting on makeup or need to put on makeup. So I always put this on before my foundation and sometimes I've even used it twice in a day because yeah. So the way it looks, don't be turned off by the description because it is explained um, both in the little demo video on the Sephora site and I think maybe in the description that it makes it, it's like a sticky tackiness to the skin and that could be true, but I feel that it absorbs and I don't even feel it. So, and I actually feel like that's what's really doing the work with the um, foundation. They call this a corset for the face because if you're looking for firming, this is it. So it's supposed to just kind of lift and tighten and it's not going to make you look like this, but it's going to just kind of hold everything in place. So what you do is you do about two or three pumps for the whole face. I'm going to demonstrate with you today on just one side of my face so, so we can see if my foundation applies better with the product and if it makes a difference. I think it does. I've been using this for weeks and I totally love, I feel like my makeup looks flawless for hours. So, okay. So I'm going to do like a pump and a half because I'm only doing one side of my face. It comes out this clear jelly and it's not terribly runny, but it's not terribly thick. I don't even, you know, like spread it around. I just kind of dab it. I'm, I'm pressing it into the skin and um, you know, I mean, it, it feels just to me like kind of a, a light gel moisturizer. It's my Spanx for my face. Okay, I like to just give it a little minute to absorb. I'm going to use my Sonia Kasha foundation. This is the Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. I featured this before. I really like it. Um, it's $12 at Target. So this shade is 02 Vanilla. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my trusty beauty blender and it's dampened and I'm going to apply my makeup. And I am kind of stippling it because 
I feel like that's just for me pushing the product in, helping it last and fill in the pores. So that's one layer of the Sonia Kashuk foundation and it's just nice and not too heavy coverage. So I'm going to use a different side of my beauty blender and a couple pumps of the foundation and just put it on. I like this foundation without this primer so I feel like this, you know, I'm happy with this foundation. But I think that if maybe you have a foundation that you haven't felt has been performing well and you can't return it and you're like duck on it, I spent money on this, I feel like maybe the jelly pack could give you a better performance from that foundation. So we have one layer of foundation on both sides of my face. Let's zoom in. So, so far this side that had the jelly pack looks shinier, like maybe it's dewier. Um, other than that, I can't really see a difference. By the way, this side of my face is redder anyway, if that makes sense. I have more high, uh, pigmentation on this side than that side, just to let you know. So I usually do two coats of foundation, which I might just do a smidge more, just to cheat. Just kidding. I mean, it's not cheating. <laughs> That's what I meant about just kidding. Ooh. Well, to be fair, let's do another bit on the other side. Ooh, I got an itch. I feel like there's a fuzz. Dear Lord. Okay. Let me go ahead and powder and finish my makeup and I'll let you tune in while I do it. It'll just be like super fast. And we'll talk more later. All right, I am all finished in my face. I'm sorry I could not continue on camera with the makeup because I was having some serious struggles with my eye makeup, my eyeshadow. So just let's do a little side note here. Got these Morphe palettes uh, recently and I was gonna do a review for you. Let's do that here for a minute. Uh, this is the Little palette and I don't remember which one this is called. This clearly browns and neutrals, and it's pretty good. It's, it's not like, wow, this is the best thing ever. It's pretty good. The palette, um, the shades swatch really nicely on your hand. Um, the mattes are kind of okay to blend. Um, I feel like they're a little patchy. So, you know, they look good, and then you're like, they swatch good, and then they just kind of blend patchy. Patchy doesn't even begin to describe the Zodiac palette. I think that's what this one is. Um, uh uh, no. I'm not sure. The shades I used just didn't blend. Now, this shade right here, that is gorgeous. That does apply pretty nicely. The problem is, you go to like blend them out, and like it looks pretty good. Um, I was putting it in my crease and everything. It was just a bunch of fallout and not, 
anything special. I really, <laughs> yeah, oh, the silver one is not good. I'm thinking some of them have like a, a little bit of a harder layer over the top, but I feel like a lot of them are just dry. They just, ugh. So now I'm like, well, fine. I don't want crappy shadows. I'm just gonna buy Natasha Denona. Let's talk about my primer instead. So right now I'm kind of, I enjoy both sides of my face. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> I like both sides of my face. <laughs> um, and I can't really tell a difference just yet because maybe this foundation is just pretty darn good. But let's see how the day goes and then I'll just do like a little check-in for you. Um, you know, let's see. Because I think that I just love this primer. Uh, moisturizer, primer, sleep pack, everything, everything. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll check back in a little bit. Okay, it's been about six hours since I applied my makeup, although it feels like it's 10 o'clock at night because it is dark out and I am so tired. I totally forgot, as much as I love fall and the holidays and this time of year, I am like just a slug. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> and we have really rainy weather, so that probably doesn't help. Anyway, back to my primer. Okay, I don't know if you can really tell. Um, the difference between the sides. I think that I love the Sonia Kashuk foundation so much that I actually think it really wears well by itself. So that's good, right? But the J1 side to me just, I like that it feels comfortable. I like that I don't feel dry underneath my makeup. I like that this area right here hasn't settled in, um, my fine lines hasn't nothing's creased right here. My pores haven't the the foundation hasn't broken down. Um, my capillaries, I mean things are kind of maybe a little more red here and faded. Um, and here maybe it's I haven't touched up or anything. I think maybe just this side is a little bit more faded and maybe my skin feels a little more dry. But that's about it. So my chin though seems to fade no matter what I do. This is red. And I reapplied my lipstick because I had chips and salsa and all kinds of stuff today. So yeah, I mean, I gotta eat, right? All right, so anyhow, I don't know if that was an excellent demonstration for you in terms of the difference, but let me just let you know I love the moisturizing properties. If you need hydration, you will love this product. Um, and I think that even if you are in oily skin, but you tend to feel dry, maybe under your makeup, or you feel like your makeup's shiny, but you're still like your face doesn't feel hydrated or plump, this is good for that too. So I think that's what's so great is that it really is just a three-in-one product. If you want to use it as your moisturizer and just pop on your foundation right after, you are good to go. Um, and then if you want to use it at night as a sleep mask, it says you can do that too. I haven't tried that. Um, so yeah, but it is, I find it to be, I also feel like my skin looks better like when I take my makeup off, I feel like my skin looks really nice and and not red, not irritated, and it just looks calm and, you know, happy versus just like sometimes I'll take a foundation off and my skin will not have liked that foundation and everything is just kind of like bumpy and red. And But I feel like everything has just been really good with this. So the VIB Rouge sale is coming up and <laughs> yeah. Is it VIB Rouge or just VIB? So I think, um, so yeah, I would, I would go for it. I love this product. I'm so happy. There's one more J1 product that I am going to purchase. It's a moisturizer. I'll let you know what I think of that. And I'm going to let you know my progress with this if I continue to like it. But I think as we go into the drier winter months, 
that um, that is also you guys I don't know if you've seen on some other channels but people love the girl on lore um, the gold primer it's like a clear primer with the gold flex in it and it's supposed to be firming and hydrating because it has gold in it I have used that and I never saw a difference with my skin and that is 70 or 80 dollars this works so much better than that by far no question so okay well thank you so much for joining me i hope this video was helpful as always thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful uh, let me know if you have any questions Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends that would be great <laughs> Alrighty, thanks so much guys. I will see you next time. Bye.